Uh, Lou Brissy is an interesting story who pitched for the Philadelphia A's and the Cleveland Indians from uh, Ware Shoals, South Carolina, and at age 16, uh, started pitching for a mill team down in uh, South Carolina. Uh, he is a gentleman who has undergone numerous operations before he even got to the major leagues. And Lou, I'd like to maybe start with you, and you can recall your days as a player and exactly what happened to you in the war, which many people said you'd not, you wouldn't be able to overcome to make it to the major leagues, but you did. Well, the, the, uh, I did. I started in textile baseball at 14. And uh, in textile baseball, most of them were ex-professionals, old-timers, and they didn't tell you anything that would help you because they didn't want any competition. All of them were full-time employees of the company, and uh, the baseball was their way to pick up extra money. But uh, when I went into the military, uh, it changed. And I, the first day we went to Camp Croft, why the colonel came by, they issued a call for people that were interested in playing on the battalion baseball team. And uh, so we, we uh, all reported to the proper uh, place. The colonel walks in and he says, gee, guys, we're going to have a great ball club. There's so many of you here that love baseball and are truly dedicated to it. And uh, I'm happy to see you, and we're going to start practice tomorrow. But there's something that I want you to know. Uh, I'm here to train you to be a soldier. And that's what I'm going to do. So any baseball you play will be after you finish your, your soldiering and your duties. There won't be any extra time off or any late reporting or anything. You'll do what every other trainee does. And you'll play baseball because you love it. And I will have our first get-together tomorrow. The next day, we lost three-quarters of the guy who guys who love baseball. Uh, so apparently a lot of them didn't love it as much as uh, the colonel thought they did. But First Lieutenant Humberto Quintana from New Jersey uh, was our manager and coach and whatnot. And I had kind of alternated between first and pitching, had signed with them, not really sure which they wanted to put me with when I signed with the A's and uh, what they wanted to do with me. And he says, I think you could be a pretty good pitcher, so you're going to pitch regular. And it was my first chance to, to play ball regularly. Uh, we had a great season. We won the camp championship. Jerry Scala from the White Sox, Howard Chris from the Cardinals, Ray Flanagan with the Orioles. And there were a number of uh, professional players in, the, in that leg at Camp Croft. Mel Allen was also there and uh, uh, receiving training, and, uh, uh, but he didn't get involved in baseball until the end, and they had a textile all-star team and a Camp Croft all-star team, and they played a, a game between the two clubs, and uh, Mel Allen did the announcing over the loudspeaker, and the cost of admission was a war bond. And uh, in that small community, they had 7,500 people turn out for that ball game, which was really for, for the war effort. Uh, from there, I went to, when we finished basic, well, I joined what they call a combat course group, which uh, was to train people for uh, village fighting and quick fire courses, they call it back then, infiltration, the whole uh, ball of wax, uh, I would say. And from that, I went to Italy and joined the 88th Infantry Division as a replacement uh, in the campaign north of Florence in the Apennine Mountains, where the Germans had had years to prepare their defenses and no matter where you were in those mountains they knew exactly 
how far it was to the nearest self-propelled gun or artillery piece. It was uh, a difficult campaign. <laughs>